Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the Videopreneur, and I have an amazing RV video for you today. It's a 2021 Palomino River Ranch 390 RL. This RV is featured by Bill Thomas Campers in Wentzville, Missouri, with a sticker price of $113,545.85. The, the information will be listed listed below, as well as a link to Bill Thomas RV. Take a look at this RV and tell me if you see something different. It's essentially an RV with a basement or a crawl space. Each one of those doors opens up and underneath the entire RV is storage space. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. It's an amazing RV. The floor level is all one level on the inside, so you don't have to go up and down stairs. As we pop open the first door, it's insulated, it's heated. So you can see the entire thing is storage space. Now you have to watch how much weight you put down here because there is a capacity, we'll get to that. There's an outdoor speaker. But each one of these doors, and I'll open most of them, each one of these doors opens up and you've got plenty of room for your storage. So if you have larger size uh, folding chairs, you don't have to worry about storing it in the bed of your truck. There'll be plenty of room to put it in, in uh, out of the weather and uh, out when you're not using it. Your LP hookup, your uh, leveling stands. We have six leveling stands. Great looking two-piece wheels, aluminum wheels. The step ups, we're not going inside yet. We're still going to look around and check out all the storage here, but it's an amazing RV. And on the inside, it's such a treat. And there's something else inside that I can't wait to show you that will blow your mind as well. But uh, yes, I'm opening every one of the doors. I want to be able to show you. You can see the aluminum uh, flooring structure. And then we have tongue and groove plywood flooring. So it's a solid, solid uh, foundation, solid structure. You can see the, the vinyl flooring. Again, it's, it's heated and insulated, so it's out of the weather. Here we have one of the two 30-pound LP bottles. So one on each side. As we slide around to the front of the RV, we'll open up this compartment, your battery box, and then we also have the generator prep. So the generator prep has already been done. If you have a generator or you want to pick up a generator, they do have that as an optional item. 5.5 uh, kilowatt generator slides right in there and it's out of sight, out of mind, ready when you need it. There you can see your flex air fifth wheel connection. That's similar to what you see uh, air shocks on uh, trucks, and then also they put it on hot rods. Here's your other side, your 30-pound uh, bottle of your liquid propane. So we sleep four. We have four slides, two awnings, 21 and 15-foot LED lit awnings. Look at the size of the volumes of space here. Your le leveling system. 50 amp system. Again, you can see the aluminum structure for your flooring. So it's just like a basement in a house or a crawl space. You can see the all of the structure. So here you can see you can control your awning as well as your, your awnings as well as your, your uh, four slide outs right from those switches right there. Here's your tank capacities for your fresh gray black and again, I already showed you the 30-pound the 30, 30 bottles of uh, propane. Your water section, so you can control all of your water filtration here, as well as your water needs. Gross vehicle weight is 17,999. Dry is 13,944. There's your tire. We also have tire pressure monitoring. So you have cargo capacity of 4,055 pounds, which is amazing. Your hitch weight is 2,995 pounds. Look at the size of that storage. It is amazing. Imagine if you were a kid, you could hang out there and 
and uh, play inside there. The height is, uh, there's your, uh, your electrical cable so you can easily ro roll that up. Your height outside is 13.6, length 42, width 8.5. As we back up and take a look, so we have two slides on uh, this side and two slides on the curb side. We can also see the LED taillights, LED license plate lights, your electrical hookup, your Bill Thomas sticker. Another storage door, you're pre-wired for your backup camera. And then on the roof, we're pre-wired for solar panels. As we open up this one, you can look at a little shotgun action straight down the uh, center. Get about halfway down. Just an amazing amount of storage. So even if you're over 4,000 pounds and you're, uh, you can take things out of your truck and store them or out of your SUV and store them inside out of the weather when you're camping and then just transfer those items back in. Additional outdoor speaker as we uh, step up the steps. Nice grab handle here. There you can see the 390 RL as well as the Forest River badging. So here we go. We're stepping inside. Again, it's all one level. All one level on the inside. Just an amazing, amazing RV. So we have a center island with a nice deep stainless steel sink. And I'll show you all of that. So here's the dining room table. Really nice, comfortable chairs. They're strapped. One is strapped down right now. One isn't. And then uh, the table top folds up to extend. And we have two additional chairs. Those are under the master bedroom or the uh, bed in the master bedroom. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Here we have power. There's the controls for the uh, power theater chairs, as well as the center armrest where you can put remotes and additional items. You can hide your candy in there, your Twinkies, your Ding Dongs. So there's the couch that folds out. So again, it sleeps four. So two in the master bedroom and then two back here on this fold out couch. There's your power chairs that I had mentioned, your theater seating your center island. You have a fireplace, JBL stereo system, 50 inch television, flat screen TV. And when you uh, open up the TV, there's plenty of storage for board games, for throws, for pillows, whatever you want to keep back there. Maybe you want to keep some adult beverages back there. May not be enough room for all your adult beverages. With an RV like this, you're going to be entertaining plenty. So these are real cool. These uh, pop up. These are your power hookups. So you have residential style plug, and then you also have USB. And push this red button and drop that on down. Solid surface countertops. Easy open and easy close cabinets as well as drawers. And the drawers are fully wood, uh, wood drawers, so wood surround. Check out this cooktop as well as oven. So you have a four burner cooktop, a microwave oven, additional cabinetry. And I try to open them, almost all the cabinets just to show you the sheer volume of cabinets and drawers and also just show you the amount of storage capacity uh, each RV has. So if you like the fact that I open all the drawers and doors, leave a comment below. If you don't like me opening all the doors and drawers, leave a comment down below as well. So you have a really nice solid cutting board here and you have a... Uh, a little strainer drawer and then you have your deep stainless steel sink as well as the the shower head for the the uh, the sink and then you have your drying mat more drawers more doors 
Then you also have your trash can underneath the, the uh, stainless steel sink in the island. So as you can see by the sheer number of doors and drawers, you have a tremendous amount of storage. So check this out. This is a Samsung French door stainless steel refrigerator and freezer, 23 cubic feet of storage. You have your ice and water dispenser on the door. Here's your freezer with your freezer drawer. So yeah, you're probably getting tired of me talking about doors and drawers and all these other items, but check out this, a walk-in pantry just off the kitchen that you can put your kitchen items in, your pots, pans, extra blankets, whatever the heck you want in there. So this is really neat. These three steps down to the uh, door, and then you can put this gate, there a second little gate. If you have uh, small ones or you just want to prevent yourself from falling down, here's your remote that you can control uh, your awnings and your lights with. One of your control panels. So now we'll go down the hallway into... This is the uh, other treat that I mentioned I had for you. Check out this bathroom. A dual bowl sink countertop. This shower, walk-in shower, is 60 by 30 with a sit-down area. Here we have a porcelain commode or toilet, foot-operated. There's your two-bowl sink. So there's plenty of room in here to move around. And then these are glass doors for your shower. And then you have a wooden shower seat, so you can literally uh, sit down while you're in the shower. And we'll uh, we'll turn this around here in a second, but check out the shower head. You don't see this size of a shower or bathroom in a lot of homes. This is amazing. Again, look at the headroom. I'm six three. So here you can see the dual mirrors over the uh, countertop as well as your dual bowls. And then these are waterfall fixtures. Just an amazing uh, master bathroom in an RV. I've never seen anything like it. And again, the shower is 60 by 30. And now we're back to the uh, doors and drawers but you just can't have enough storage space. And I don't think there's an RV that will rival the amount of storage space this has. There's a vent. So you have the heating and cooling system is residential style. So it's nice and efficient, nice and uh, quiet, and more than enough to keep this RV cool in the summer, warm in the winter or in the fall and hot, hot enough as hot as you want to make it come winter. And this is a, uh, uh, a camper uh, RV that you would like to travel all year, all four seasons in, as we leave the bathroom and walk into the master bedroom. So, uh, yes, I know, more drawers. They put them in. I just got to point them out. Don't kill the messenger. But then those are the remotes for your TV. So we had a 50-inch TV in the family area or the gathering area. Here's another one of those pop-up outlets for your plugins as well as your USB. And then that's a televator. So your television, a 50 inch television comes out of there. You also have the uh, sun shades for the windows. So they're blacked out on the back side, white on the front side, additional fireplace, additional cubbies for storage there and plenty of windows so you, for you to uh, take in the view. Then you have the uh, flooring that looks like hardwood. This is a king size bed. So you have a cabinet there and cubbies on one side. So if you have a CPAP machine and you want to get it out of the way, the LED lighting in here is ample for uh, reading. And then this bed, rather heavy. That's a memory phone. I keep forgetting to mention it's a memory phone mattress and it's a bamboo mattress, plenty of storage. Those are the two other chairs for your dining room. And I keep forgetting what that, that uh, mattress is called. Oh, yeah, memory foam mattress. And it's a king size 
memory foam. Here is your closet. And then this closet here, you can leave it for a long hang up clothes or it's uh, pre plumbed and pre wired for a washer and dryer, a stackable washer and dryer. And then here is your closet, which is an another amazing space. So you have a deep closet, you have plug in here, and then you have shelves behind so you can hang your clothes. And then behind your clothing, you can have shelving space. So if you wanted to have extra pillows or extra blankets or extra, maybe a handgun, something like that, just something convenient. You never know when you're going to need things like that. And here is the bamboo bed and, uh, Oh yeah, it's a memory foam. And again, it's a king size bed. So you have plenty of room. If you do have a CPAP machine, you got a fireplace as well as your televator. So you got your television and then you have a, a ceiling fan. So there's a ceiling fan in the gathering area as well as in the master bedroom. And that bathroom is amazingly large. So when you're entertaining and sitting around the campfire and your uh, neighbor wants to use the bathroom, you'll be happy to let them use it. When they go in and see your bathroom, they will be thoroughly impressed. Your uh, 23 cubic foot refrigerator freezer, just an amazing RV. Your theater seating, power theater seating. This is a beast of an RV. Check out all the data below. Thanks again for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. For more of videos like this, you definitely need to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.